James has them, and today I'm going to show you uh, how I use Revit to create engineering drawings. So, I'm working on a design of a daycare right now, and it's on White Avenue. So, I've used my Matterport camera to scan the existing building, and my Matterport camera uh, takes a 3D, makes a 3D model of the building, as you can see. So this took me about 45 minutes to scan. I took uh, like 36 points. So uh, I set up the camera somewhere. I push a button, scans, and then I move a few feet, and then I repeat. And it stitches the whole image together, and I end up with a, a 3D model that I can explore so I can look at it. And this is really critical for me because I can see every uh, detail, like columns, uh, ceiling space. I mean, it's not perfect, and there's a little bit of uh, what we call artifacts. So, uh, actually, we don't want to look like this. If we go to Explore 3D Space, uh, we get a much better quality image, though. So we can actually walk around and see uh, everything in the space. Now, if there's people too close to the camera, they start to show up as, as shadows, which can really can kind of mess you up uh, during the scan, and they show up everywhere. But otherwise, we have a, a pretty good quality. I mean, look at this. You can see the dots right in the ceiling tile. So I would say it's it's a pretty good, definitely a good investment. Um, we don't have to measure out the whole space anymore. And... Now I got my ruler here, so I can. Uh, I've done a bunch of measurements, but it, like automatically it gives me measurements of the wall. So it's telling me ceiling height seven foot eleven inches. It's telling me it's giving me all the measurements of all uh, the items. But in three D, I can actually press the plus sign and I can click anywhere in the whole image and pinpoint accuracy and I can go down to the nearest inch and it'll tell me uh, the measurement. This is great. So now what I do is in my Revit now here's what I did. So we just we create a uh, a standard Revit template and now I'll show you something else here. If you want to pay extra you can click for add-ons and it'll give you a like a schematic floor plan which uh, takes a couple days or you can get the matter pack which is like a 3d model that you can import into Revit or you can get a CAD file which is a bit more expensive but but the CAD file will give you like the full architectural interior electrical and mechanical and it's depends on the square footage of the space so uh, in this case, the full package is like 675 bucks, but it takes a few days because somebody has to actually put it together. But I digress. So I um, open up Revit. So I created three drawings. So uh, and this is how I do it. So it'll automatically give you a a template, but you want to create three drawings. One will be like existing. So this is what you have, and then one will show demolition. So the demolition shows us uh, walls that we're going to demolish, things we're going to demolish, and the last one's going to show us new. And then what I do is, this is an important thing, so uh, so that we don't mess up. You want to do this right at the beginning. Uh, so under existing, you want to show, you want to change your phasing. So the phasing uh, lets us uh, define what the drawing is going to show depending on where we are in the construction project. So we want to show existing tells us hey this is what we have and that's like a blank slate and then we want to show what we've demolished and once we've demolished it then we want to build on top of it. So this helps us uh, really visualize the project. So in the existing phasing we change the phase filter to show all and we show the phase as existing and then in the demolition uh, we change 
the phase to new construction, but we filter, we change the filter to show previous plus demo. So that means it won't show any of the new construction, even though it's set to new construction. And then new construction just shows everything and the phase will be new construction. So then we draw out what we have from the matter port. And in this case, I've added different measurements. And then, uh, so really, you just go to architecture and then and then you pick a wall and you, you know you draw whatever you want to draw right. So, so you draw something and then you put dimensions. You want to put enough dimensions for people to, to know what you're doing. And then under demolition, then we go back to modify and then we find our hammer tool and then we just click on stuff that we want to demolish and that makes them into dotted lines so we know we're demolishing them. And then under new, those things that we've demolished will disappear and then we can add more walls. So in this case I've added walls and a staircase and um, the uh, fence and then that all ends up in our drawing so I added some notes so I like to have a a key plan so this is um, this is where I've put my my first drawing what's ex existing so people can see and I've, I've shown from a street view and then I have my standard notes which I paste into every drawing and then I have my uh, life safety analysis which we pull from the from the building code so we discuss what kind of building we are and the occupant load and the, all that stuff and then we have our demolition plan and then I like to add some notes about exactly what we're demolishing and what we're not demolishing <coughs> then I have my construction plan and I add some notes and uh, now it automatically generates like elevation views of the building so I'm still working on these but we've got elevations and then we've also got schedules and then it will show us the power plan so I um, have to create demolition and phasing for electrical and mechanical and plumbing uh, and structural in this case there's no structural but the uh, that's how I do it so if you have any questions or you want to see more uh, videos like this please post a comment thank you